What language is this? It was funny, but I wish they had the other guy pregnant too. You think he's posting this from the public library? <laughs> <laughs> This one's gonna be disgusting! This is the F Plus Terrible Things Red with Enthusiasm. In the room tonight we have Poor Tax. My cock's a super soaker that fires toddlers. <laughs> Jimmy Franks! Dark villain came over to Super Guy and helped press on his belly while the superhero pushed. Two hours of pushing resulted in a 12 pounds baby. Boots ring gear. One is where I'm dating a girl turns out to be the magical or a alien and can't get pregnant, so she gets me pregnant. Welcoming back a terrific submitter. This is Cheapskate. When I was 16, I used to fantasize about being knocked up by my hardcore feminist but exceptionally hot. And Lemon. The guy giving birth looked a lot like Robin Williams. Hey, F+. Plus. Hey, Lemon. Hi. Hi. How are you guys doing? Are you guys keeping all of your weight under control? Nope. I'm 500 pounds. Wow. See you next F+, plus live. <laughs> <laughs> that has been quite a weight gain, then. <laughs> she, I know, in the past couple months. She stole all uh, my weight. I'm, look, I'm looking pretty good these days. You know, do you remember, uh, have you ever seen the, the fun gimmick t-shirts where it's like, uh, I'm not fat, this is my baby kind of thing? Yeah. I think. Yeah. Yep, I see those every yeah. day. Well, huh. This is me uh, struggling for a segue because today we're looking at male pregnancy. Oh, That's good, because uh, I need a segue too yeah. on account of the 500 pounds. Yeah, what is male pregnancy? Uh, to be honest, I don't know exactly. I mean, I've always known that, like, mpreg is a concept, and it's a thing that's sort of, like, written about uh, and sort of talked about on the I, internet. So, so I... I, I could tell you. Well, th you don't need to, because uh, Cheapskate here provided a document, uh, and oh, it is... Jesus Christ, how long is this? 40? No, 23 pages. So we got 23 yeah. pages of uh, mpreg, and we're going to get through some of it. Uh, and it then hopefully... like 40-some pages. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And hopefully we'll be a little bit smarter um, at the end. So, uh. Uh, so let's start out here. Uh, we are going to mpregcentral.net, um, <laughs> a site so great their logo is a broken link. And uh, this new comedy channel sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Portex, if you'll just start us off here with S Gone VW, S Gone VW, S Gone VW. All right, I'm S Gone VW. Mm-hmm. Uh, I joined in March 2012. Mm-hmm. I have 15 threads, 66 posts, and my reputation is zero. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Do you ever imagine... <clears throat> I'll start that over. Do you ever imagine a world in which NPREG is normal? In a world. If so... Mm -hmm. <laughs> in a world where men Where babies, babies come out of cocks. <laughs> If so, that's what. What's that world like, and how is it different from this one? Uh, men well, get in pregnant. That men have babies. <laughs> that's that, the primary that difference. Men have the same genitalia as women. <laughs> no, also, not necessarily. Who, just you pee it out. Also, the Nazis won World War Two. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that in the new Wolfenstein. Yeah, well, that happens anyway. in every parallel universe. It's okay. true. <laughs> As will become clear, I've asked this question to go on at length about my own vision of utopia. Okay. Mm -hmm. The way I imagine it, heterosex would result in male rather than female pregnancy. That way, women won't exist, because I'm misogynist <laughs> as hell. No, Men no, no. Will... It's just, it's just, mm -hmm. the, just, it's heterosex, so the same, the same sexual thing happens, but just men get pregnant at the end of it. Oh, okay, so the man bites the woman's skull off and feeds it to the baby. <laughs> Men would carry babies what? to, that's quite to a term and logic. give birth to them. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not going to happen in this episode, so... Men would carry babies to term and give birth to them, but women would still breastfeed them. Thus, the bonds men and women form over children would be naturally stronger than they are in the real world. <laughs> you hear that, parents? 
<laughs> if if men gave birth and women remained nurturers, members of both sexes would be invested in life and production. Maybe this would check men's natural aggressive qualities, making them less likely to kill. Bio truth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Isn't it great how this thing that I, like, masturbate to is actually going to change the world and, like, lead to world peace? There might also be less coercive sex, fewer unwanted children, and less overpopulation. Sure they might! What the fuck? Why not? <laughs> yeah. Sure. I guess what I'm describing is a world without hypermasculinity, or a world in which <sighs> hypermasculinity is checked by having to face the painful grittiness of re and reality of reproduction. Well, okay, great, cool. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's get into the fucking facts of this thing. Let's get into like deep into the facts of male pregnancy. Uh, I'm looking here at baby daddy. Yeah. And here's a picture of him with his belly sticking out. So yeah. that's uh, actually not a unique avatar. Like a lot of people mm -hmm. on the site have mm -hmm. avatars similar to that. Yep, got a big, got a big fat bulged out belly, still with hair on it. It's pretty, pretty sure. gross. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm Baby Daddy, and this is my mm -hmm. Mpreg world. Okay. Since we all know that, as of now, Mpreg cannot happen in our world, what kind of universe do you imagine Mpreg in? I have two, um, depending on what mood I'm in. One is a world <laughs> very similar to ours today. Only the sexes are switched. Men get pregnant, and women have been the dominant gender throughout history. This is where my pregnant house husband fantasies take place. Oh my god, okay. The other yep, is an sure. all the mood is sexual mood. Yeah, the other is an all male universe. Everyone's biologically male and technically hermaphrodite. Any guy can get pregnant or impregnate. I tend to imagine my kinkier and dirty ideas happening here. <laughs> so what yeah. about you? I really want to fuck a snail. Just I wanna <laughs> fuck all the snails. So do you think you should only in this universe? In yeah. Do you think he came up with this concept first and then started masturbating? Or if he was masturbating first and then decided, hold on, hold on, i got to come up with some backstory to justify this. <laughs> I need character development in my masturbation. Is that what your masturbation rituals are usually like? <laughs> what am I really doing here? What's the point of this whole thing? What's my motivation? Yeah. Just think about it afterwards. It's like, it's like backtracing, trying to find your keys. Uh, this is Duda. Hi, Duda. Hey, uh, yeah, uh, I was just, uh, I was looking at what Goddess wrote about how I always liked male pregnancy to be, a, uh, a, a very rare thing, or either a pure freak of nature that is unexplainable, or it happens through magic, or some underground scientist figures out a way to impregnate someone and uses it to torture them. Good, good summary, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I pretty much think the same thing. Uh, the world I imagine is always about a boy that is part of an experience and gets impregnated. I prefer alien experiment. In in the beginning, he doesn't know about it and figures it out only because his body changes a lot. And I like bizarre body changes, like a very big belly and a couple of big female breasts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think fat sure, guys exist anyway. Oh, I think they're more like he experiences a lot of pains because of the heavy belly and heavy breasts. <sighs> I don't like that kind of story about a guy finds out is pregnant and is super happy about it. I like it when it's completely bizarre and he needs to hide it from his friends in the beginning, oh but he gets big and it becomes impossible to hide. He um, suffers about it and imagines how hard it will be to take the baby out. Uh, He's shy and needs to show to his best friend what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> I also I like to be have you have you considered more of just like a, like a threes company kind of uh, fetish as opposed to going <laughs> going all out with this? Like you seem to be really into this sort of the awkward, you know. I like it when the pregnant guy has two girlfriends and they don't know about each other, and he's got one in the living room, one in the kitchen. He's got to keep them separate. Well, this is the like just like with the sneezing thing, where it's just like I, you know, the thing is, I just like it when a dude's just miserable. Like, is anyone else into that? <laughs> yeah, sociopaths. I also like the sexual part of it. He's young and has problems with girls. Has never had a girlfriend before, and his body has female breasts now. And he gets sexually attracted to them. What? 
You should, I'm, yeah, that's. I'm not sure if he's yeah. talking about I'm attracted to his own breasts or his uh, girls, <laughs> but anyway. No, his uh, own. His own. Like he uh, grows breasts and he's like, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna fuck my own titties. <laughs> I've always imagined like this. I like imagining it like an anime. It's like Goddess said, pure freak. I apologize if I said anything wrong because English isn't my first language. Smiley face. Well, you did say something wrong, but I don't think it was because English isn't your first language. <laughs> uh, I'm huge belly, uh, and I, uh, I just responded to this post. Uh, basically, what happened is I quoted absolutely everything that Duda said, and then I said... <laughs> I love anime. This is great. <laughs> I'm contributing. <laughs> Hello, Forum. I'm helping. <laughs> I wish that guy went to like every forum we've ever read and just said that. <laughs> no matter what the content. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still eight years old and I still like fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I like anime fried chicken. <laughs> anime fried chicken. <laughs> is that a curious Therese there? Uh, it is Curious Shuris, who uh, does like anime fried chicken, and uh, would like to add, Interesting topic. In my impreg world, I think that some men and some women will have the ability to become pregnant, while some men and some women will only have the ability to impregnate a man and or a woman. So it falls into the following. Oh. <laughs> Number one. Oh, Jesus. If a man can get pregnant, then he cannot get another man nor a woman pregnant. That man can become pregnant by a woman or another man. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is getting is this, complicated. Is this all written down in the monster manual? Rules. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! We made it! <laughs> we got a for D&D jokes at the exact joke same there. time! <laughs> Welcome to the F+. I was, I was about to make okay. a scatter dice roll joke, but you guys beat me to it, so... Yeah, uh, <laughs> this reminds me of one of the logic puzzles I had to do on the LSAT. Um, <laughs> number two... Uh, if a woman can get pregnant, she cannot get a man pregnant. Number three, no woman can get another woman pregnant naturally. Maybe with the help of an in vitro, but I don't usually go that route in my impreg world. Hmm. So, Who masturbates so women in still... vitro fertilization? <laughs> Wait, don't answer that. So if one uh, pregnant guy leaves internet. San Diego going 60 miles an hour, <laughs> another <laughs> impreg guy leaves. <laughs> Number four, if a man is able to get another person pregnant, then he himself cannot get pregnant. He can get a man or a woman pregnant. Number five, if a woman is able to get a man pregnant, then she herself cannot get pregnant. She can only get a man pregnant. Uh, I kind of take the idea from the real world. Um, <laughs> no. Kind of. That's a big, strong kind of. <laughs> the we're reality not show, every right? Man, yeah, where not every man and woman have the ability to reproduce. I also take inspiration from, well, penetrative sex. Hence, no woman getting another woman pregnant. Another flip on my impreg world is where men mm. are the only ones that can get pregnant by either male or female. It changes. As for rules, the idea stays the same as the real world, really. So, it's still a man's world, it's just that men have the ability Ow! to conceive. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? Men are mostly the breadwinners. However, women are the only ones to have breasts grow breasts, and therefore are the only ones that breastfeed. You fucking perverts. <laughs> hey, hey, it's me again, huge belly. Uh, I just wanted to contribute again to this forum. Uh, and so what I did uh -huh. was I quoted absolutely everything that uh, Curious Cherie said, and then I added, I love this, although I would love to have breasts in another world. <laughs> Just, what? just like like portals that <laughs> that lead to your breasts. Oh, maybe he's quantum jumping into the tit universe. Okay. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Where just everyone's got gazongas, gazongas at your nose, gazongas at your ears. A wee moe, a wee moe, a wee moe, a wee moe. <laughs> Put an ass on those tits so I can fuck it. Yeah. My god, it's full of boobs. <laughs> hey, uh, this is the boy with the belly. Oh, hi. I don't really like that children's cartoon. <laughs> yeah, um... I don't like that Paul Simon song. reputation is also zero. Um, <laughs> my universe is similar to the second one that da Baby Daddy mentioned. Plus, 
I have some science behind it. Men and women both have a uterus and vagina, so both can carry and birth a baby naturally. Oh, okay. uh, only women have ovaries, though, so they are still women in the scientific sense. All uh, right. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, because because ovaries and likewise, only men have testes. <laughs> when members of the opposite sex copulate, the egg and sperm meet up, and based on any number of factors, the zygote will implant in the woman's womb or travel through the urethra and through a diverging tube into the man's womb. Wow. I'm expecting the word Illuminati to show up any minute now. Picturing it's just swinging back and forth like a pendulum until it decides where it wants to settle. (laughs) Cold, cold, cold. More, more, more. It's like a game of Plinko. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I can picture it. I'm picturing it right now. Yeah. It's a it's a longer trip, but there's still a 50-50 chance of the either partner becoming pregnant. This results in a very exciting period when both partners suspect that they're pregnant but don't know which one is doing the real work. In some cases, split what? twins may occur when fraternal twins are fertilized and one implants in each parent. Okay. Science, man. Yeah. <laughs> Hot. Despite the fact that, oh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's sexy too. Yep, yep. Well, it's just like, I want to know if my masturbation's canon or not. <laughs> <laughs> this cum didn't count. <laughs> yeah. It's been retconned. I oh, know it's been retconned. <laughs> this cum doesn't count anymore. Despite the fact that only women have breasts, I like my men to stay men, but no hate if you like the alternative. I see the appeal. I don't think you do like your men to stay men, yeah, you, but you whatever. Stated there was a vagina and testes. That, <laughs> that doesn't the sexes seem like have a, always, that is unsightly. <laughs> the sexes have always been pretty equal. Being the source of food, women are sometimes seen as slightly more what? parental. Okay. Oh, because they have, because okay. they have they meant that they were, unit. I thought they were cannibals, like they're yeah, eating no, 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 the women. No, they But society, oh, lady burgers, <laughs> just like Dad used to make. <laughs> but society still recognizes them on equal footing with men. Therefore, the parent that stays home is usually the parent that has the most recently given birth. So that's Except my universe. Men and women both naturally okay. enjoy the privilege of pregnancy, and I love it. <laughs> sure, it sounds. Oh, it sounds super delightful. <laughs> It does sound like a privilege to be pregnant in this universe. <laughs> Check your pregnant <laughs> privilege, yeah. <laughs> uh, Portex. Hi. Uh, I'm not Portex. I'm yeah. Hannabeth. Oh, H- Hannabeth? Hannabeth. What? Two, Which four, Hannabeth six, are you? I've met a lot of Hannabeths in I'm my life. Two, four, six, oh, one. I'm the defective model. Yeah. Uh, they released <laughs> me into the wild, hoping I would just die in the woods. <laughs> Joke's on them. <laughs> the, the defector model. <laughs> Take that, Darwin. <laughs> That's right. I have a uh, reputation of O. Oh. <laughs> Still don't know what that means, but that's cool. Um, this is my time to shine, though. Please don't take this idea. Where would I take it? Where would I go with this idea? Who would I bring this idea to? What would I do with it? <laughs> Kickstarter! Into your dude uterus! Your uterus! Kickstarter. That's where you take it. Patreon. With my Impreg universe, my multi fanfic universe. But I might make original stories down the road. Men can get pregnant by this potion what? known as seahorse blood that was created by a trickster god in order to upset natural order. <laughs> like the order of closing parentheses on statements. When a man drinks it and has sex with another man, within two weeks they are able to get pregnant. Hurry, 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 hurry! <laughs> and go, go, go! With the potion, it has been in the land of mortals since Middle Ages, and has been around since even today. It has been around since even since today. Okay, it yeah. has been around ever, like ever since. I got, okay. It has been, yeah, it has been around since even today. Even today, right. it has been around since. Right. <laughs> <laughs> when the child that was the result of the potion turns a year old, uh, they will have semicolon? a seahorse... <laughs> yeah, semicolon for no fucking reason. They will have a seahorse-shaped mark on the side of their arm below the shoulder. That's the color... That's in the color of the child's birthmark. <laughs> Jesus what? Christ. What? They have a birthmark, and then they have a, a, se- a second birthmark that's colored like the first birthmark? Yeah, like... And then know. when the child turns 30, it turns red. <laughs> Starts blinking but and also, they have to renew. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
but also children that were conceived by BDSM what? would have a bruise colored seahorse mark and would also have a higher pain resistance as sort of a defense mechanism. So, in this perfect universe of mind, every child can imagine their parents having BDSM sex when they look at their birthmark. I love that it's like fetish free association. Yeah. You yeah. have to explain that seahorse shaped bruise to CPS every time. <laughs> <laughs> no, my parents are just really into whipping. <laughs> I know, it's gross too. I'm going to throw up now. This spell sounds great. Can I make this at home? How do I make this? Yeah. Here's how it's made uh, Blood of a seahorse. Got it. <laughs> Not sure. If that's literally whatever. Uh, peppermint leaves, mm-hmm. uh, baby's breath, mandrake oh. root, and bayberry. And that's how impreg is possible in my AU. This is the short version. Uh, Quotes, for some reason? As long as there are men in power, there will always be a seahorse child within their walls. (laughs) Human beings to the mob. What's a mob to a king? What's a king to a god? What's a god to a non-believer who doesn't believe in anything? Fucking Uh, let's quote that for no fucking reason. I'm fucking, I'm gonna go slip my own throat now. I dreamed dreamed a dream. (laughs) <laughs> Sorry, I forgot I'm happy. Bye. I dreamed a dream of common womb. I <laughs> um, looked back on the beach and only saw one set of footsteps. <laughs> that is when your daddy and your daddy were making love and giving birth to you. So one set of footprints, a big round imprint in the dong. Yeah, Hi. seahorse tail. Yeah. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi. Oh. Hello there. My, my, my Muppet. Oh, God. Oh. My name oh. is Brimming Belly. Oh. My avatar is my big fat man belly and my big fat man tits. It looks like and a my... screaming emoticon. <laughs> <laughs> Wall eyes. <laughs> <laughs> like a fucked up bagel. My... <laughs> I, think, I think that can technically just be called pussy navel. <laughs> it's what uh, it's what Munch saw in a nightmare. And he had to put it oh, in. that's why he kept screaming. All right, <laughs> all right. Uh, oh, okay. <clears throat> so brimming belly, oh four. I have six reputation. With all the excitement going on right now with the Olympics, it got me thinking. Though it would obviously never happen. How could would it be? <laughs> If there were an Empreg Olympics, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, how could so would baby, it be? So the baby like does a front flip out of the mangina and like lands and sticks the landing, puts their arms up and shit. Like, what the fuck are they talking about? Uh, well, you know, it's, it's in response. Or it's like to they the, luge out or something. To yeah, to the. <laughs> To the vaginocentric woman Olympics. Listen, you don't Olympics. fucking have to guess. You don't have to spitball. I've already done that for you. Okay. I think I'm a little bit more familiar with the Embrig Olympics than you anyway, asshole. Okay. Think of all the crazy events there could be. Like longest pregnancy. Largest largest single pregnancy. Largest multiple pregnancy. Fastest delivery. Etc. I think the fastest the delivery involves like a pit crew. <laughs> <laughs> Just fires them out like a human cannonball or something. <laughs> oh, I don't like this Tijuana strip club. Okay, what <laughs> events would you want to see? Uh, boots, how about the boots, 50... <laughs> by which I mean Killix, what events would you like to see? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, you're a Drifloon. Yeah, I'm Killix. Yeah, and, you are. Uh, well, I feel silly tonight. Separate Oof. categories available for singles, twins, triplets, quadruplets, quintuplets, and a massively multiple category for everything beyond that. <laughs> Longest John pregnant. and eight plus a distended urethra. <laughs> <laughs> There's butt births and penis it'd births. Like, uh-uh. It'd be like pouring M&Ms out of the bag or something. <laughs> <laughs> longest pregnancy. Fastest pregnancy. Largest pregnancy. Girth-sized. 
Mm, Largest okay. pregnancy, weight gained, fastest delivery. May have separate categories for vaginal, anal, penile. I, I <laughs> fucking said it. <laughs> and miscellaneous births. You know, ear births. Miscellaneous? <laughs> Nose what birth. Is miscellaneous. <laughs> ear canal. <laughs> I cried babies one day. <laughs> Longest in labor may have separate categories for vaginal, anal, penile, miscellaneous, mm-hmm. C-section births. How long can you handle a tough guy? Um, 40 meter waddle. So... <laughs> what? The 40 meter, what? Wa- 40 meter waddle. <laughs> Uh, greatest appetite with a side award for most bizarre craving. You can see the 40 meter water anytime you want. Just go to Costco. Yeah, most amount of Ew. milk produced. Or parks. Most stretch marks. <laughs> Biggest baby, which is not a thing I already covered. <laughs> and most babies from single pregnancy. That's all I can think of for now. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yep. <laughs> There's nothing else in my brain. <laughs> what the? F- Except that yeah. little note at the bottom. Oh uh, yeah, kill it. That's stop from pile Pokemon. Three. We're gonna skip that. <laughs> That's my. Wait, I'm sorry. It's from Pokemon. <laughs> Shut up. No. <laughs> we'll ignore that. <laughs> no. Um. Hey. Uh. Hey. F plus. Uh. Yeah. Uh, I just want to give a little poll here. Uh. Hey, would you have a penis birth? Now, don't answer just yet. Let me give you some <laughs> options. I'm going to have difficulty answering this question. <laughs> you birth to a penis? Is that, well, I can't elucidate. I mean, you know, the the pollsters just give me the script. I have to read it. Like, like what I, I don't want to influence your vote. But I have a soothing lie down inside a penis and give birth in that. <laughs> that could be fun. It could be. Well, okay, so would you have a penis birth? Okay, so here's some options. Yes, maybe, only if it was the only way for me to give birth, and not for anything. You know, I'm starting to think you're not a real census taker. <laughs> Why? Are you, sure, are you sure he's not trying to say, would you have a penis bitch and just misspelled it? <laughs> <laughs> At this point... It could go either way. I sell, I sell those shirts down at the shore. Yeah. <laughs> Next to the uh, FBI female body inspector. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and cool story, babe. Make me a sandwich. Um, yeah. So, so that's uh, that's my question to you. But uh, goddess uh, Portex, um, what's <laughs> what's me. your take on this uh, this penis birth thing? Well, my reputation's nine, so. Uh... I'm not just uh, whistling Dixie here. Mm-mm, mm-mm. You got uh, five stars. Yeah, I got five stars, just like Fred. I got four stars, actually. <laughs> but anyway, uh, <laughs> well, since I don't have a penis, I'm not sure how to vote. Would I like to see a penis birth? Yes. Yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if it's possible. I really don't think so, but many would disagree. I think the urethra is something that stretches over time, not quickly, the way the vagina does in birth. You have the oratorial approach of Donald Rumsfeld. (laughs) Oh, is that not who this is? I can start over. (laughs) I'm afraid to say I'm pondering the sentence, I think the urethra is something that stretches over time. (laughs) I mean, it's. I mean, that's true. I mean, it's gotta. It's it's gotta be right. Like an earlobe. Right. Now are you pondering it? <laughs> Why wasn't biggest urethra stretch one of the events in the yeah. Uh, yeah. Olympics? <laughs> Most exciting sounding. Cheapskate, you have a very very strong opinion on this whole uh, thing. Your name is Huge Belly. It's all one word, Huge Belly. Yeah. And uh, what's your opinion here? My opinion. Hell no! <laughs> with okay, good, with good. three exclamation points. Well, good, good. I'm, I don't know why you're on this forum, but I'm glad that you sort of, like, have a nice no, moral you're... compass. Yeah. No, here's why I'm on this forum. I'm sticking with anal birth. So, <laughs> it, I don't know Freaks. what I'm discussing, uh, would be extremely painful, and I don't want to see my members screeched 
and injured. Anal birth for me. <laughs> My ass like getting that. injured, that's fine. <laughs> Isn't that just pooping? <laughs> it's it's pooping babies. Yeah, pooping babies. <laughs> oh, okay. Not a not a very successful R. Kelly song. <laughs> so I guess the water birth probably would just be a given at that point. <laughs> Um, and then uh, finishing this thread up here with uh, Jimmy Frank's Your Sugar Kitten Cat Face. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your pet name for him? <laughs> Your name's Sugar Kitten, but then you did put a cat face on it so that we knew that you were a what's, sugar kitten. What's your, uh, what's your title there, Sugar Kitten Cat Face? Yeah. Uh, this is Sugar Kitten Cat Face. I'm a yummy male mommy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that's, that's my favorite cereal in October. <laughs> my reputation is eight. <laughs> hey, before you start here, uh, sugar kitten cat face, yeah. uh, I'm looking at your profile, uh, and, uh, you know, you're in the west of England, and um, you, so uh, no just shit. tell me a little bit about yourself. Just Is there anything you can tell me about yourself? Well, I'm, I am PM friendly. Drop me a message anytime. You better check out my X-rated M-Preg amateur porn oh, I, videos oh, at pornhub.com user slash sugar kitty. <laughs> mm, yep, I clicked absolutely. that. <laughs> oh, why the fuck did you? Why did you know no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> Don't click that. Oh, you want to you want to know more about my bio? Well, I've been in Mpreg since I can remember. I also cross dressed, but it wasn't until I became sexually mature that it became an erotic thing. Because you're sexually mature now. <laughs> now, now Fpreg slash Mpreg is my biggest turn on. Is wait Fpreg? Yeah, female pregnancy. What is, okay, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, you have to specify. I spent years trying to simulate pregnancy, and now can do so in the comfort of my own flat. Oh, wait, did you need to go outside before for this, <laughs> or like go to doctor's offices? I was doing it out out in the woods, <laughs> the grocery store. <laughs> anyway, listen. The way I imagine the penis birth is as follows. Okay. The penis dilates like the cervix in a woman giving birth Ooh. and then opens oh. up around the head. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. Oh, head, which boy. Head? I'm not sure if it would be more or less painful than a regular vaginal birth. More. <laughs> more. More. <laughs> Just, how is your geometry, idiot? <laughs> I, I guess it depends on a large amount of variables. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I mean, how big is your urethra? <laughs> Maybe it's a really small baby. <laughs> oh, God, you're done. Oh, thanks. Oh, ooh, boy. And then uh, I'm going to take Mermaid. Mermaid. Mermaid Una. Mermaid Una. Mermaid Una. Mermaid Una. Mermaid Una. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Mermaid I Una. his Elvira teepees for a moment. Um, oh, I guess you have to, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd just uh, like to add, the only good yet creepy part of penis birth is Ukinno er ready to push because the base of the penis will be shaped like the baby's head. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a cartoon snake eating something. Yes. That is... Yes, we are now at... See, you will see the outline of the whole child the farther it goes. It gets into the so, penis. So it's you know, like when a, you know it's a, a guy boy, robs a bank and he through. puts pantyhose over his head. That's what it's going to look like. Yes. You'll know it's a boy because it's the shape of a penis in your penis. <laughs> hey, no, and, uh, like penises, so. and if you'll uh, uh, direct your attention over there to the TV screen, you'll see that we are now at 100% Cronenberg. <laughs> <laughs> the Cronenberger right. meter is going off the charts. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm Mermaid Nuna, and uh, I've participated in one thread, I think. Uh, so I would, if I had one, I actually really love the idea of penis birth. <laughs> it would make the ordeal very painful. Yes. <laughs> yep. Yep, those two sentences right next to each other. Okay. But I think that in order to have a penis birth, that during pregnancy, the penis would have to grow wider. What? I don't get it. Why? <laughs> then, while in labor, a man's penis would have to dilate, and he would have to slowly push the baby out of it. Mm-hmm. it guess I'm just a sick person, lol. Uh-huh. <laughs> just, this is just yes. dawning on me. 
<laughs> but yes. you sure Idik isn't the sound of the baby bursting out of the penis? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's hello, my d- baby. Hello, my baby. <laughs> hello, my ragtime gal. Oh, it's a dick burster. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a space balls reference. <laughs> We've got a deep bench of references tonight, folks. Hey, yeah. hey young people, yeah. don't watch space balls. It's not very good. You know what? Uh, it's fine. It's 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 not that great, but it's it's fine. But you should watch Robin Hood Men in Tights because, like that that movie's objectively really good. Anyway. Uh, oh yeah, that would be hot. That's uh, that's how I conclude my post. Because <laughs> oh right, what the fuck? Because I like writing true things. <laughs> oh, that's nice. My, my name's Escon VW. Oh good. My Hi. name's Escon VW. It seems to me neither the anus or the penis is constructed in a way that would make male birth <laughs> anything God. like female birth. So for my scenarios, I imagine an opening in the perineum that lined between the anus and the scrotum. Bah! I suppose birth nice. of this sort would be easier for men with longer perineums, which incidentally has been liked to high sperm count. Mm. So just have, get like a fucking zipper there and just anytime you want the baby to fall out. And just... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Check out my taint zipper. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds like a this King of Hearts song. game sucks. Who's who's that? Who's that? Oh, uh, howdy! This is uh, this is Mark. Oh, I'm Mark. a crazy hey, old coot. <laughs> uh, back when I first started fantasizing about impreg, I also fantasized the birth of being a penile one. Right, of course. Never, never really gave any thought as to how possible it might be. Back in the days of wine and penis birth. How did you <laughs> fantasize about it then? Those were the days. <laughs> Well, anyhow, I never really gave any thought as to how possible it might be. It just seemed perfectly natural that if a guy were to get pregnant and give birth, it would just be like a woman giving birth. With the only real difference being with a guy, the baby would be traveling a a bit farther along because of a guy having a penis. (coughs) It's not a Playland slide. (laughs) Trying not to. I'm trying not to. You keep trying to lead me into this alley, and I don't want to go with... (laughs) Now, when I when I first started writing out impreg stories, largely for my own pleasure, since that was when the internet was either not available at all or the general public or just starting to become available, uh, I had this vague explanation in it that the penis was really very elastic and could handle having a baby that had been developing inside the guy for the standard nine months and that weighed several pounds go through it with no damage worth noting. It's almost like the internet made my life a lot worse. (laughs) But eventually, I started wondering if that was really plausible and for a time considered having the birth be anal rather than penile. You're not thinking about the child's best interest at this point. (laughs) (laughs) When was that ever a factor? (laughs) Now, when, when yeah, I started writing hempreg stories to be posted on the internet and be read by others, I mm-hmm. still liked the well, idea of that. penile birth a lot, despite the fact that it would certainly be a major owl factor by my own admission. And <laughs> As the, opposed to shitting out a child. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. And, and the idea, the more I read about the human penis, the more I realized it'd be hard to explain how a human penis could... <laughs> Handle having a baby large enough to survive on its own go through it. So you're an evil robot. So I gave him old dog cocks instead. (laughs) Something of an armchair urologist, you know. (laughs) I must study up on this human penis. This this is unrealistic. On the other hand, why can't this baby get his nutrients from my feces? <laughs> it, like education system has failed a lot of these people. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of them just straight up don't know what a dick is. Thanks <laughs> a lot, no made. child left behind. <laughs> anyway, I uh, toyed around with a few ideas. Eventually, decided on the ideas that you can read in the prologue in Brett's story. The idea that uh, some sort of genetic mutation would, among other things, make the penis more elastic, shorten the pregnancy by three months, and making the baby at the time of birth smaller. Is the explanation still a bit implausible? Eh, probably, but it works for me. <laughs> yep. Oh, you could have, instead of doing that, you could have thought about something else. 
<laughs> I mean, that was that was always an option. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I got a lot of time on my hands waiting for my disability check to arrive, so <laughs> just kind of well, amuse like, myself with Just, like, matters. pick up Cat's Cradle or something, or, I don't know, <laughs> knitting. <laughs> Do that. All right, uh, it's time for our first choice. Um, we have a, uh, a couple choices here. Um, let's see, Boots. Yeah. Would you like to read... Pick the anime girl to get you prego. Mm-hmm. What, like the spaghetti sauce? <laughs> <laughs> Go out to the store and give me some damn spaghetti sauce. <laughs> yeah. Or cow transformation. Fuck. Oh, dear. Uh, I'm going to no, go wait, with the I mean, anime no girl one. No, oh, interesting. Yeah. I, have to, I'm, I need to scroll back up. There yeah. was no way I expected that choice. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. All right, great. Uh, oh, boy, there are some terrible avatars on this page. Okay, here good, we go. Good, good. Pick the anime girl to get you prego. Okay. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> Told you. Oh, and he posted a couple times, so you can see that more than oh, once. Oh, yeah, he does. This shows up quite a bit. <laughs> uh, uh, hi there, I'm, I'm Pregnus. And uh, pick the anime girl, get you prego. Yeah. <laughs> it's time to play Pick the Anime Girl <laughs> to <laughs> get you prego. <laughs> I watch a lot of anime. And yes, you do. As a result, I have a wide knowledge of women in the genre from Sailor Moon to Lady Un from Gundam Wing. I should read, I have no knowledge of women. <laughs> yeah. So? <laughs> Sorry. Yep, no, my you're... question to all you men out there is, which anime girl out of the entire anime universe would you want to get you knocked up? For me, it's toss-up between Sailor Moon and Lady <laughs> Un from Gundam Wing. <laughs> so those are the only two that you actually know about. So... Just wondering what the rest of you thought. Ha ha ha! My name's Amure. Well, who cares? Uh, ha ha! I believe it's about which anime girl you would want to get you pregnant. And before I even stopped reading the post, I was like, Lady Un, done. If I had to be geeky, which <laughs> I'm not doing yet, <laughs> but if I had to be geeky, I'd say. Her Colonel Oon personality because dominant and glasses. Vortex, what's that? What did I just read? <laughs> they all, they all want to fuck the girl from Gundam Wing, apparently. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I did not know that the robot anime was the sexiest thing ever, but apparently. And then uh, Cheapskate, Tobo RP. I know they side more on the video game side of things, but I'm thinking... Felicia or Morrigan for Darkstalkers. There's something appealing about the supernatural slash monstrous element from them, and Felicia might even give me a whole litter. Tonguey face with a wing. <laughs> uh, another choice here. Jimmy Franks, you're always good at choosing. Oh, yeah. Uh, here we go. Uh, choice number one. Choice number one starts out pole colon tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yes, please. The other one is also a question. Uh, the other choice is huge mondo question. Breasts. <laughs> Man, that's I, tough. If, uh, well, I've played Day of the Breasts and it wasn't that great. Yeah, so right, yeah. <laughs> it does sound actually really good. <laughs> Let's uh. I, I gotta, I gotta, we gotta go with the first one. I, I gotta You're see going for this... tentacles. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, so, Jimmy Frank, start us off here. Uh, your thread is, for some reason, entitled Tentacles, My Dear Watson. Tentacles, My Dear Watson. <laughs> uh, so, uh, my poll is the, the USA Today fast poll of the day is <laughs> tentacles. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> And the uh, options for answers are tentacles in my impreg? I think not. (laughs) 
Oh, so cute. Nope. Nope. That's clearly but, wrong. That's not yours. Okay. Well, uh, how about head explodes, body wanders away aimlessly. I mean, that's my fetish. So. Get closer, <laughs> but all right. How about the idea is uh, kind of hot, actually. <laughs> that, that one's mm. uh, far and away the winner, <laughs> <laughs> with fifty percent of the results. And uh, your 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 final option. <laughs> Where am I? What thread did I wander into? That's mine. My, my answer. That's my answer right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, clarify. What thread did we wander into? I uh, was watching an anime the other night, and she, and of course, one of the episodes had your stereotypical tentacle scene in it. So I figured I'd just ask, what's you guys' take on tentacles when it comes to Mpreg? Love it? Hate it? For me, I'd be open to seeing it in Mpreg more in pretty much any role, whether comedy, horror, <laughs> angst, whatever. You think angst is a genre? <laughs> I, I, I think in anime it is. <laughs> uh, you don't remember the tentacle scene from the sorrows of young Werther? <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, All right. that's nice. pretty sad. <laughs> I like the yep. idea of a a tentacle and prank comedy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like knocked up, but even worse. I think that's the title of it, actually. <laughs> Seeing two tentacles at the same time. Guy slips on a banana peel. A tentacle gets stuck up his urethra. He gets pregnant. <laughs> Uh, an idea that I find endlessly amusing is the thought of a young man getting impregnated by and later married to a gigantic tentacle monster that keeps him in a kind of submissive housewifey role. Just the concept uh, makes me laugh uh, or, or cackle uh, maniacally. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're killing me, Peg. <laughs> well, I have something to say about this. Uh, my name is Kalix. I sound oh. different than I did last time. Oh, Kelix, welcome back. Yes, Kelix, I've gone on and on quite about... Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, take two, because yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I am literate. I've gone on and on quite about about insect pregnancies here on this site and how I'm a huge fan of them. A close second favorite behind insect-themed pregnancies, <laughs> however, is probably cephalopod. I love soft, squishy things, sometimes even slimy in the case of tentacles. No, really, I do! I'd call it an obsession! Fuck off. <laughs> I know, you don't believe me, <laughs> but I'm a pervert! No, I believe you. Could you please fuck off? <laughs> No, no, no! I just let me let me spend more time convincing you. When this I was younger, is four more hours. I, I would sometimes hear. just <laughs> fill up balloons with water, just just to sit them on my lap, fucking wow, and hold them. And I don't mean the thick, durable ones we preggers use. I mean the chimp, cheap, flimsy party balloons that are extremely malleable when filled with water. I find it hard to believe this isn't somehow connected with me being a fat admirer, too! What? What? You just That's went crazy up to the fetish talk. buffet and took one of each. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking pitch posh. Ooh, that looks disgusting. Ooh, that looks disgusting, too! But I digress. I think my ultimate story fantasy involves... Being impregnated by an insect cephalopod hybrid inspired alien. <laughs> Something with the soft squishiness of cephalopods, but the, for lack of a better term, culture of an insect society. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> so I want my head to explode at the end. And oh yes, there will be tentacles! Lots and lots of them! LOL! That's probably also why I have a soft spot in my heart for slugs. Soft, squishy, slimy, and more closely identified with bugs in today's society. I happen to think they're very cute. To Keelix Stockpile 3! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> to bring it back to the to the Cronenberg thing, this is probably the first person to ever jack off to uh, Naked Lunch. I hope that's <laughs> true. I mean, I hope that's that's rare. <laughs> I mean, yeah. but then, I mean, there's, I mean, Boots, I mean, think about it. There's a lot of 
scenes of a talking butthole in Naked <laughs> Lunch. It's talking butthole typewriter spider. Yeah, exactly. Hey, uh, like, hu- that's... Huge Belly uh, contributes to this, right? Do you remember <laughs> Huge Betty? Belly? Previously, it was all like, hey, I'm totally into that, too. I love what you guys are yep. into. Mm-hmm. Here's yeah. what Huge Belly says. This is just too weird. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, wired. let me try that again. <laughs> this is just too wired. <laughs> Huge Belly Totally out. wired! Um, all right. Well, I still... I still am failing to kind of understand some of the uh, more salient uh, concepts behind Mpreg. Uh so I think I think the only thing that'll really uh that will really uh solidify everything in our um hearts and minds and uh toilets is <laughs> um a story. So it's time it's story time. Yay. Hooray. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, Cheapskate, yeah. which of these uh, stories that you found would you uh, like us to read? Should we read Abduction, or should we read The Mutant Octopus, and Puss is spelled with two S's? That's how it's a mutant, obviously. Um, mm-hmm. That means, I'm like, gonna scared go of everything? With, uh, I'm going to go with The Mutant Octopus. <laughs> All right. Well, the... Uh... Both of these uh, have tags that are fucking horrifying. <laughs> right. Once again, Whoa. Cheapskate put this thing together, so blame him. Uh, this has Andy. the tags. Not safe for work. Durr. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what you reading? Uh, Quickie, Rape, and Hermaphrodite. So, ooh, here we go. <laughs> Jimmy Franks, start us off, please. <laughs> okay. Uh, boy. Yep. <laughs> yep. All right. Mm-hmm. Just because Red I'm going to... Jimmy s- Frank's curse all over all of us. <laughs> this is Spitfire Princess. Mm-hmm. Uh, with the... Yes, the mutant octopus. Just because I'm in a silly mood, here is an M-Prank quickie that isn't for the faint of heart, smiling face. <laughs> you know, did you ever get into a silly mood and write rape? Isn't it, like, so fucking silly? <laughs> It's so random. <laughs> so what's the fucking zany, that fucking zany rape you got going on there? Fuck off. <laughs> Tuck got off of work early and was wiped out. He got into his car and started driving. All of a sudden, the world around him started to morph and distort like a funhouse mirror. Panicking, he sped up and then, in a flash of light, he found himself on an alien planet that seemed to be made of water. He always always loved. (laughs) Yeah, really, it's just act one. There it is. (laughs) He'd always loved the ocean, so he abandoned his car and started to walk around. Then all of a sudden, he started to feel the horniest he's ever had in his whole life. The need to fuck was so intense that he pulled down his pants and started to masturbate. I don't... Well, then he didn't quite... I mean, there wasn't really much of a need then. This is a character I can relate to. (laughs) (laughs) One hand started to rub his ten-inch cock while the other fingered his clit. This went on for about an hour. He came multiple times. Hmm. The last orgasm had brought him to his knees. I gotta say, if I had, if I had a cock and a clit, I feel like masturbation would just be too much work. Uh, like that would just, <laughs> just kind of be a pain, to, wouldn't it? You have to look at the <laughs> schematics to uh, figure it out. <laughs> a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of this. Yeah, it's that, that belly padding and head rubbing conundrum. <laughs> it's a Rube Goldberg machine down there. I don't know what the fuck to do. Yeah. <laughs> He's just going through like boxes and boxes of, like, uh, gold bond powder. It's a <laughs> lot of area to cover when all of his cum had activated some kind of portal. <laughs> Yay! 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 As it often does. <laughs> and Tuck found himself in a watery room that appeared to have no exit. A bubble issued from his open mouth, and at first he panicked, then noticed he could breath. All was good, until a few minutes later, two gigantic eyes stared at him through the other side of the watery prison. I like, I like to think of this as like a Buck Rogers story. <laughs> just, just another you tale of Tuck's games. adventures of things that happen when he jizzes. <laughs> That's like uh, the worst Saturday morning cartoon ever. Every week his jizz does something different and crazy. <laughs> every, every episode ends with a cliffhanger. <laughs> Cliffhanger. <laughs> Cliffhanger. <yeah. laughs> okay. Uh, after the eyes disappeared, a, a table morphed into the center of the room. 
was yeah. perfect because Tuck was tired from a long day at the strip club. Oh. He took his clothes <laughs> off and laid down. The table was soft and conformed to his curves. Then, out of nowhere, watery manacles clamped themselves down over his wrists and ankles. I like, I mean, I will say this, Spitfire Princess. Um, I'm sure you're going to be showing us uh, terrible things. Uh, but, I mean, stylistically, you're actually not a terrible writer. Like, there's a lot of, like, you know, show-don't-tell happening. Not a Some lot of preamble. Building. Yeah. I think that, yeah, I mean, like... I mean, these, these paragraphs are, are doing a lot of work, and I commend you on that. So I'm sure I'll have a very positive opinion of you this whole way. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what you're wearing on your legs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Which is rare for a story that we're reading. You're much better than the clown fetishist. His eyes grew wide as gigantic tentacles shot out from every direction. One immediately shoved itself up Tuck's unprepared ass, while another violated his <laughs> vagina. <laughs> Yay. Another tentacle. Surprise, said Riker. <laughs> <laughs> Another tentacle had wrapped itself around his penis. Then a fourth started playing with his balls. I, I'll take over at this point. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so relieved. Oh boy. <laughs> Jimmy Frank. Jimmy Frank is going to sit down and fan himself. <laughs> Have a stretcher prepared. <laughs> we got an oxygen mask just off set. He'll be fine. He writhed and shouted in pain, and then it started to feel good. He thrust himself onto the tentacle in his vagina and moaned. A t- the tentacle in his ass and on his package also sped, making his or- orgasm multiple times. The Boy, slimy that's... tentacles and Tuck couldn't get enough of each other until the final climax he was aware of hot, thick seed filling his womb. All of a sudden, his stomach and breast started to grow. More tentacles joined the others, stretching his ass and vagina as far as they would go, filling him with more seed. Tuck retched at the sight of himself. An hour later, his stomach and breast were sight so... of himself? Uh... Also, here's a mirror! <laughs> yeah, two more tentacles held up mirrors. This is like that scene in Batman, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the mirror! An hour later, his stomach and breast were so large that he could not move by himself. The watery walls of his prison seemed to be holding him up. Another hour passed, and soon he felt a splitting pain ripple across his back, and his stomach contorted wildly. Fluids gushed from his vagina and ass, then disappeared into the floor of his cell. Tuck gathered his wits long enough to feel between his cheeks. What? Okay, that's... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yep. oh, sorry. Mm. <laughs> Tuck gathered his wits long enough to feel between his cheeks where his fingers met the head of something fleshy and strange. Then it dawned on him that the mutant octopus had knocked him up and was using him as a man cow. Turned him into a shitty DJ. <laughs> That's an awful lot to deduce from just that. <laughs> Fucking ah, Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> clear. Oh, it's this again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn it. Thursdays, am I right? <laughs> Why are you late for work? Oh, yeah. Tuck bared down with all his might in a deep squat, not having any time to pull off his boxers. His poor erection was trapped under his massive belly. When the head of the <laughs> anal baby was out, <laughs> another was sliding down his vaginal Make birth canal, bulging out of his boxers. Pain clouded his vision as he staggered onto all fours with his stomach squishing against the water. His arms and legs could barely touch the ground, and he was that huge. The water seemed to These sense... raping tentacle monsters are, like, super-duper good at reproducing. <laughs> That's true. And so the answer to the earlier question about uh, how would you like to give birth as a man is apparently all of the above. All, everything at once. <laughs> <laughs> all of my holes. <laughs> uh, the water seemed to sense what was best for him and shoved him back onto his feet. The anal baby's shoulders were stuck, so he continued to give it everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he continued Why to give it everything the- as he got the vaginal baby to start started to crown. As the Boy, vegetable baby wow. started to cram. Just at the same time? Am I still yep. going? I'm still going? Okay, good. His box was ripped as he <laughs> He's going to look like Swiss ate. cheese by the time this is over with. <laughs> it's going to smell like Actually, Cheapskate, take over for him. Good. He needs a break. All oh, right. <laughs> His boxers ripped as he grunted, and the anal baby slid out of him, covered in birth fluids. He noticed that That's not, those aren't birth fluids. <laughs> He noticed that instead of arms and legs, the baby had tentacles. Ew, that's gross! (laughs) (laughs) Then why did he have shoulders? If he had tentacles. Shoulders and then tentacles. 
This is the one like the, thing with the story that I have a problem with. No, it's with. like the tentacles need something to hinge on to, you know? There's tentacles and armpits. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. The next baby starting dropping into his ass while the bad the vaginal <laughs> baby was fully born. Now the baby is going back into his ass? Yeah, it's uh, like an Wait, is that the vaginal baby? Of, uh, <laughs> ass babies and vaginal babies, and they're all yep. uh Giving birth back doing forth, doing whatever. a Chinese fire drill. Oh, there's mul- <laughs> there's multiple ass babies. Okay. Yep. Cord from the last anal baby was still inside him, stuck in all of the babies crowding his impossibly huge Jesus. belly. He had Jesus. filled the cord and placenta of the vaginal baby just fine. The next anal baby had come breach, nearly <laughs> getting caught on the last baby's cord. Some tension here. <laughs> Another vaginal baby was making an entrance just as the anal baby slid into the strange world. On and on, baby after baby came from both anus and vagina. Ellipsis. I'm so glad that I, like we've gotten to a point in the story where like I've I've lost the ability to picture things. Like yeah. at this point, it's just the words anal baby, vaginal baby. Like there's there's no connection of those words yeah. to a real thing in the world. You think maybe the like Fine, when they get older is... the the vaginal babies and the anal babies from like ri- rival groups. <laughs> like, the, like the sharks and the jets. <laughs> yeah, they all came out snapping their tentacles. When you're a butt, yeah. you're a butt. <laughs> <laughs> His poor anus and vagina were getting so stretched out that two and three were getting would yeah to be... past tense. <laughs> yes. Two and three babies would attempt to get to be born at once. <laughs> it seemed like an eternity before he could feel the last three children inside of him. He pushed on his deflated belly and started to satisfy his constant heart on. He didn't bother masturbating since he was currently a water slide for these mutant babies. <laughs> That's a good reason <laughs> to not bother. <laughs> that line is supposed to be erotic. When the last <laughs> baby had made its appearance, all of them disappeared into the depths of the alien water world, making him a deadbeat alien tentacle dad. <laughs> Tuck had also gone back to normal. Ass and vagina were nice no, he didn't. and tight again, but nope. no new clothes had appeared. Tuck thought he was done, but the tentacles came back for more! No. <laughs> to be continued. Wave Scorpion Claw 7682! Interesting story! <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. You're welcome, I contributed! Um, we can't end there, because uh, that's a terrible place to end. I don't want that to be the last thing that anyone, like, listens to. We need if something. Any, well, what were his last words? Uh, yeah, exactly. If any of us die tomorrow, that's literally the last thing, the last imprint we leave on the world. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I always remember the last so thing he said to me. So we're gonna we're gonna do one more story just so we can you know kind of transition. We're still it's still gonna be an Emprick story, uh, but this is definitely definitely walking this back a little bit. Uh, so this story is called Club Mammaries. Um, uh, Boots, you will be Chris. Uh, Jimmy Franks, you will be the bartender, and I will take the narration here. Man Marie's Man Marie's Man Marie's. Oh. You are so right. Man I'm so sorry. Club Man Marie's. So uh, this is a story written uh, at the beginning of 2014 uh, in the evening. Chris walked in the door, looking around the club. His friends had suggested this place to him, as it was new and seemed to fit his taste. The club specialized in the idea of men with breasts, and all of the staff were either naturally. I'm sorry. All of the staff were men with either natural or surgically augmented bosoms. They were His eyes widened for gender discrimination. <laughs> <laughs> His eyes widened at the sight of them all. So many guys with bulging shirts making his way over to the bar. He sat down, and within moments, someone approached. Can I help you, hun? As Chris looked at the bartender, his eyes almost popped out of his head. Like it was that's... a man. At least, he was fairly certain, considering the club's theme, but... His blonde hair fell around his face and shoulders like a golden waterfall. <laughs> because metaphors are hard. It's bu- it's supposed to like baby a, blue. It's supposed to be a ruby volcano. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> baby blue eyes locked on to Chris's brown ones. His skin was peach and smooth looking, but that wasn't all. 
man's chest was full size. Easily D cups are bigger. They rested on a basketball sized belly, which seemed to have settled into a widened pelvis. If Chris didn't know any better, he'd have guessed the man was pregnant. He's heard wow. he had Yeah, yeah, exactly. He had heard he can't of be men- fat. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I I went to Club Man Marie's, and if I didn't know any better, <laughs> uh, uh, he had heard of men capable of it, but he didn't really expect one here. Again, at Club Man Marie's. He didn't expect one there. Yeah, it, it's my first time. Sorry. What do you recommend? Well, since it's your first time, you could go with the Tit Boy Special. <laughs> No, hmm. no, whiskey sour will be fine, thanks. Hmm. <laughs> what, what's that? That's served with the boy horny. The man grinned and groped his breast through his shirt. As much breast milk as you can stomach, hon. <laughs> Zero. 20 bucks. An extra five if you finish both my tits and need someone else. Oh. Christ, that's a Chris gulped. <laughs> you, you, you're making breast milk? But... The man just patted his belly. This ain't a pot gut, sugar. I got a baby bouncing around inside. <laughs> Until he's born, though, my milk's on sale. You want it or not, hon? Chris nodded and fished his in his wallet for a 20, handing it to the man. The man grinned and walked around to the bar to sit next to him. I'm Lexi, by the way. <laughs> I think it's a good choice for me. <laughs> I am a female. (laughs) (laughs) Lexi slowly lifted his shirt up, giving Chris a good view of that smooth, perfectly rounded dome. When the shirt got higher, Chris saw a pair of breasts contained in a lacy front clip bra. Lexi slowly capitalized, so the last name was slowly. Lexi slowly (laughs) unclipped his bra and exposed those thick, dark nipples. Well, you know most men wear the wrong size bra. Well, go ahead, sugar. Get you some. (laughs) Get some! (laughs) Chris nodded and leaned forward, wrapping his mouth around one nipple. He slowly closed his eyes and sucked down all the warm, thick milk. As he did, Lexi rubbed a hand over Chris's head and moaned gently. Oh. (laughs) There you go. Drink your fill. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> the space immediately around the two grew quiet. I don't because everyone left as Chris drank and drank. Lexi's breast seemed to have an almost limitless supply of milk, and he was almost starting to feel full when Lexi signaled that breast was empty. Switch over, hon. Lexi smiled. Chris moved to the other breast and continued to drink. Despite how full he felt, he wanted to get his money's worth, and he was so amazed by how thick and delicious the milk was. He couldn't have stopped if he wanted to. His jeans started to get a little tight from the milk, though. Of course, oh that's what always happens when <laughs> yeah, you drink milk. Sorry. That's just a normal reaction, right? I noticed there was a dude in my fat guy story that wasn't fat. What the fuck? I ripped myself into a corner now. Wait a minute. Chris is, Chris is the Kobayashi of man milk. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the other kind of man milk. <laughs> oh, yeah. A low gurgling and groaning emanated from Chris's belt. (laughs) Making Lexi giggle. (laughs) Chris didn't seem to notice until until a sudden snapping made his eyes open and his cheeks flush red. The button on his jeans had snapped off, allowing his bloated belly to spill out a little. Lexi grinned and patted that belly, making Chris let out a huge burp. Barp. (laughs) <laughs> you're a greedy one, aren't you? Looks like you're full, though. I always fill them up. Come back when you're ready for more, okay? MMORPG fetch quest. Chris <laughs> nodded and got up, slowly making his way to the door. As he went, he couldn't stop rubbing his sloshing belly and letting out little burps. Blah. The really su- end. Blah. I'm surprised there was no onomatopoeias in there. That's, I yeah. mean... Yeah, I yeah, guess I want, clearly I they just to they're not an actual burp. <laughs> I'm sorry. Blab. God damn it. Yeah. So, F plus, what's 
What was learned from any of this nonsense? Is this... I learned that some people have no idea how anatomy works in any capacity whatsoever. <laughs> no, they do. They just shove through. <laughs> Is, Much is like this, a baby out of dick. Is this what happens in a post-Fred Rogers world? <laughs> you you think the death of Mr. Rogers is responsible for this? Uh, maybe. Remember I just want to blame. I want to blame male something. Episodes of Mr. Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> so this is just you're you're just saying that this is just people just not getting enough hugs in their life. Yeah. Maybe. I mean. I mean. Sh- I mean. Yeah. Sure. I mean. That's that could be. A, that could definitely be a cause. It may um, be uh, looking for, maybe people looking for nurturing men in their life and associating, you know, pregnant equals nurturing. Therefore, if a guy's pregnant, then maybe he's not going to be an asshole like every other man I've ever met, like my dad. Oh, you um, think you, on, you think maybe these guys have mummy issues? <laughs> it's possible. I think um, it's just as it's just as frequently female as it is male too. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's there's true. a lot of girls that do this shit. That's true. That also this is kind of a catch all for anybody who wants to see something growing inside of a guy. So I mean, there were the like the alien yeah. people with the bugs and the in, like you know the bot fly people. I, I don't know. It seems like any <laughs> anything that you you've got a guy who wants a thing to come out of him alive, uh, they could kind of find a home in this community. Yeah, because I, mean, I mean, you don't yeah. you don't really see the babies like it, it, as far as we know. As oh, soon no. as all these guys in these stories give birth, they just toss the baby in the fucking trash and start over again. That's true. You it's know, definitely so. it's definitely yeah. the action. It's either the being pregnant or the action of the pregnancy. Because um, I feel like there was there was sort of two different um, there were sort of two different overall themes. Like, and the thing that Jeepskate was talking about being the first theme of like kind of like the uh, the sort of like picture of a of a nurturing man, um, kind of happening, and and maybe the nurturing like being forced upon a person, um, I think I think was definitely like a hook, but the, I think the other one was just, I mean, genuine like male suffering, um, yeah, was yeah. Yeah. was not a small undercurrent here, yeah, um, there was a lot of just just you know like just make them hurt, make them hurt yeah. in their genitals. <laughs> yeah, in, in another thread, which I didn't present to the document, uh, they noted that the population of this forum is overwhelmingly Catholic. Make it up. <laughs> oh, <there laughs> Holy fuck, why didn't I guess that? Yeah. We learned <laughs> something new. That's for Man, sure. that makes sense. Mystery solved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that answers all our questions. Hey, and, the the website is always... and if your upbringing's fucked you up, come to Ball Pit. <laughs> How do I get to ball pit? That's B A L L P dot I T. <laughs> That's true. Uh, there's a whole section called uh, "Yeah, I get to talk about me," and uh, you can uh, I don't know complain about your parents or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe don't, but you know, make an account anyway. Um, and uh, the website is t h e f p l dot u s. Uh, it's got a whole new redesign, looking real pretty. Uh, it's got a uh, very big uh, font size, which some people find super offensive <laughs> and want to <laughs> let me know. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, do check out the website. There's a lot of cool new features in there. And uh, if you want to contribute like, you know, 20, 30 cents to a society that just put nightmares in your mind, uh, <laughs> you can sign up for Flatter and uh, just Flatter every episode you finish it. Because why not? You know? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's all. Goodbye. Bye. Have to come out soon Have to meet the sun and moon and All the bagel mateys <laughs> All the finger babies If you like it, then you should have put locks on it <laughs> <laughs> All the craft singles, ladies <laughs> <laughs>